Hey everyone, so anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge fan of LinkPad and if you look up here somewhere I'll have a link to a video I did basically explaining what LinkPad was and I'll link to it at the end as well. And I was just looking on Twitter and I saw this tweet by the author. LinkPad AI, and we kind of know that AI is becoming a huge thing at the moment with ChatGPT and all this kind of stuff. So that and LinkPad, LinkPad AI, I had to jump on this. So this is only in preview, but I thought I'd do a quick video just to show it. So jumping over to the website, if I go to linkpad.net, download, want the latest features, get the latest LinkPad 7 beta. And this speaks about the new AI assistant and then download LinkPad 7 latest beta, which will just download a zip file, which I've already done. And this doesn't seem to come in uh, an installer, it's just an executable, which is fine. So let's go with the LinkPad 7 64 bit. I've already got this running here. And an extra option you'll get here is if we go to edit, you've got this AI. So if we go to AI settings, then you can enter an open AI API key. I've already got an account. So if I say, so you can sign up here, I'll say generate an API key, it takes me to here. I've already done this, but it's worth pointing out, you need an open AI account and you, it basically needs to be a paid for one. You can set up pay as you go. So it doesn't actually um, cost much at all. If I go to my usage, then like um, I've had, and note that this isn't one pay per month. This is the hard limit. So I can change that in the settings. That's the default hard limit. So it doesn't cost much, but you do need to have a pay as you go account and you set up your API keys, you generate one and then you just bob it in here. You've then got these two options. We can do shift space or alt control alt and backslash. I prefer shift space and control P for the AI personal assistant. So let's have a look at that. So let's go with if I do something like um, solve Fizzbuzz, I think most of the people watching this will know what Fizzbuzz is. It's a, a a very common interview question. And I'm going to press shift and space. And this is now hands-free coding away for me. And I don't, I've not sped up the video or anything. That's how quick it did it. It says tab to accept. So I'll accept that. And then I can press F5 and it's done it. What I can do though is remember the control P shortcuts. If I select them all, control A, then control P, then I get this AI prompt thing. So it says things like clean up the code, comment it, explain the code find and fix bugs, various things, make it run faster, optimize it. What we're going to try here is X unit, right? C sharp tests. So let's do that. And immediately get this. So this bit here before it scrolls away is the code I highlighted. And now it's writing the test for me. So again, I can sit back and let's open a AI do its thing. Okay, I sped that up a little bit, but in, in total, in real life, that was about 15 seconds to write. And then I've got a, a few different options here. I'm just going to go append query. So it's going to copy this code into the query window. And now it's done, uh, it's copied X unit test. It's done this. If I scroll up into the code, you can see that it's given me a method to run to run the tests, or I can press link pads, alt, shift and T. So if I do that, how much, I don't know what to say. I'm not often lost for words, but yeah, that is insane. And that's just a very, very simple example. Obviously link pad is leveraging open AI, but you've got that integration now into an already amazing tool. So that was a very, very short video, but I just I saw that. So I thought it'd make an interesting video. Hopefully it was useful. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe below and see you next time.